the frameworks that I use to make an investment are both qualitative and quantitative. They're both left brain and right brain. And that's why I think VC is such an interesting market because you can't just look at a spreadsheet with a TAM analysis and say that you should make an investment. Clearly you have to look at market sizes, but I look at the, the markets in two ways. I look at market penetrating investments where there is a very large established market. We're investors in a company called Capsule in the digital health market. At $400 billion market in pharmacy that's just ripe for disruption. So I look at that and, and it's less than 1% online. So if you believe it's going to penetrate the market similar to e that's $80 billion of value that's going to kind of transpire in the next several years. So that's one framing. The other framing is market expanding investments where, you know, you look at a market today and you say it's a $850 billion market. Let's, let's use Web3. And in the work we've done at the firm, we published a paper last year talking about crypto and the consumer. And we believe that this is going to be a 50 to $100 trillion market over the next decade plus. And so if you believe that in terms of an overall market, then it's like, okay, well, how do you break that down? How do you think about where to invest? And so we, you know, you, we've come up with specific themes. And then ultimately, um, really, I, I think what's under appreciated in investing and certainly an area we talk about how we need to get better is really, really, really like we do a great job at analyzing markets and business models and all this stuff, but we, we have to continue to improve on the way we think about founders and think about how we evaluate a founder. And I think it's, uh, it's an area I continue to focus on. Mm -hmm.